the jungle of visions and we are dropped off right in front of where Peta is. Or at least what the entrance to Peta is. Which is fair enough, that's exactly what they did in the original version as well. I think this might be uh, an area that, if you are on Kevin and Charlotte's path, will let you go into the rest of the Jungle of Illusions, or Jungle of Visions as it's in the official translation, and you can then head on further in. Luna, Salamando, Undina, Dryad, Silphid, Gnome, and Mana. I don't think I'm going to remember that um, order anytime soon. I do know that Undina follows Salamando, which is the most important trophy earned, but about on the return. So we are now in chapter 6, I believe. Oops. It's where the star put us in. I'm just taking a quick look around to see if there's a cactus to find in this state of Peta. I always want to say Pedon because that was what the uh, fan translation translated it as. Two gold item seeds. Yeah, this says Ancient Capital Peta, one of one treasure boxes, so I'm assuming this counts as its own area, so to speak. Hang on. I had something else here for a second. It was a yellow grip icon. Yeah, this type of icon, but next to this part. Hmm. I have been compensated. You could stay here free of charge. Would you like to rest? I'm not sure. I do want to know if this would be said in the in the game if you hadn't found enough cacti for this. In the original version, after sleeping here, you stepped outside, and as you stepped outside, you heard this teleporting sound. And then you were, like, in the past, or something. You knew of Peter to begin with? Treasure boxes zero of two. Well, that's weird. Everything was run down until we fell asleep. What happened? We time traveled or something, I'm, I'm not sure. 
There is a large castle deep in the jungle called Mirage Palace, but the foliage has gotten too thick to reach it lately. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna go there. I'm on the wrong path. Dark Castle? Can't say I've heard of it. I have heard of a place called Light Castle, though. I think it's on a big island in the north of Laurent. Also not the path I'm on. That's for Rees and Hawkeye. You know it from that old prophecy of the prince who destroys his country. Why did I bring it up? Well, let's just say no one lives on that island anymore. I love talking to strangers about, you know, odd deaths. Haven't seen you around. Where do you hail from, stranger? Peta is best known for our gear and weapons. You should take a look while you're here. What... what happened? This place... I don't understand. Maybe breakfast will help. I don't deny that. If you are the type of person that eats breakfast, or can eat breakfast, I think it helps. Did you see the prophecy? I don't really get it, but the old man that cares it can tell you more. His Highness Prince Richard and the Golden Knight are going to beat up the Dragon Lord. This is Peta. Peta, Peta, I'm not sure what, how to pronounce it. Prince Richard and the Golden Knight to give me their autographs. I do hope that uh, this will lead to an extra scene because I do have a Duan in my party. Gold item seat, and yes, for the first time in quite some time, we are during the recording in a city, so I can go into an inn and do the magic pots. I could have done it on the class change video, but uh, I didn't want to. If the Dragon Lord were to pass through this town, we'd have nowhere to run. Hi there. Next prize. Oh yeah, view on discovered treasure boxes and little cactus sightings. Oh, one more of those and I got it. In the original, this was the place where I was supposed to go, where the scholar would be. Maybe he appears after I have uh, checked out those other stars. The jungle of visions to the west of Peta is so dense it's like a maze. Care for you don't get lost in there. There's a large castle deep in the jungle called the Mirage Palace, but the foliage has gotten too thick to reach it lately. I think you have the text from that old lady over there. There's a monostone scholar here, you know. Have you seen him yet? No, I haven't. He hasn't appeared and spawned in this area. In the far north, in the sea west of Alterna, is a dragon island. The dragon lord you've all heard about lives in Dra Crystal Desert, which covers half of the island. That dragon is scarily strong. He's smarter than humans, and that's not all. He even plans to level Peta to get rid of the stone stores of weapons and equipment. Yeah, and uh, that island, I once I had Flamey unlocked, I noticed that I can fly there if I want to, but I didn't do it because I wasn't really supposed to go there yet. Ah, oh, there we go. So, I... Forget. I think this happens regardless of what pa which path you're on, but... ソウさん。
That part only occurs if you have Duran in your party. It doesn't matter if he's a main character or, like in my case, just a companion. Although I really can't... I have this feeling that... You don't get them to spawn if you are not... If you don't have Duran in your party. But it is a very nice nod, and since um, since I had Duran turn into the Leech class, you did see the best visual representation of Duran looking like his father and taking after him in terms of the golden armor and stuff like that. You can't read the ancient script. I would think Angela would be taught those. I mean, she wasn't a very good student at all, but you know. メガミ様の予言を記した石板じゃ。世の終わりに起こる出来事が記されておる。何よ、世の終わる時、マナは失われ、行為なる命の木は、足切りによって枯れ果て。マナの剣、マニオチ、絶望の先に広がる龍の王
talk to the old guy in the temple and then he would appear there and tell you where the monastone is. In the original, you didn't even have to talk to the old guy about the prophecy. Word has spread of our quality gear and weapons. Famous knights are known to stop by too, you know. I already met the one famous knight this entire world has. And as we know, he kinda dies. So, plus 6, plus 8, plus 5, plus 8, plus 2, plus 14. Uh, sure, let's give him that. Uh, my weapon stuff. Hang on. Oh, right, it's up there. And there's the treasure chest I was missing. Uh, question mark seed. Yeah, this, as you saw, didn't spawn until uh, we are in the past version of this, so no way of getting this one early. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Not giving you a question mark item until this point is a bit weird. But why did I not talk to this guy? He is the weapon store. Uh, the armor store. I don't think, uh, I don't think buying, um, buying weapons for Angela and Dawn is that important right now. I got uh, Kevin the new and stronger weapon because plus 14 and physical, come on, that's pretty good. He's already a powerhouse and the more I can have him cause damage, the better in my opinion. So, we are level 55? And I forgot to do the item seeds. Uh, hang on. I'll just go back down. Wait, was there a magic pot in there? Pretty sure there was, I just... Yeah, I just kind of forgot to check it. Just double checking, this is still a short area as it was before. Also, I don't think there is a way to return Peta to the way it was in our time, so to speak. No way to return to the ruined state, I believe. Yeah. I was about to say, unless it did return to the uh, ruined state and then you have to sleep in there again. But no, it's still in this age. No, there's no magic pot here. That's weird because in the original version there was a magic pot in that inn. Mostly because... Um, the enemies in the jungle of vision that you could uh, move around in even without uh, being on Charlotte and Kevin's path. They had the chance of dropping um, 
of dropping the question mark seeds. So it would make sense to have a magic pot nearby, but okay. Peta apparently doesn't have a... Uh... Okay. Apparently doesn't have a little um, magic pot in this version. Fine by me. Like I said, we could go here to begin with, ever since we got flamey. Didn't go in here, and as you can see, that is where we are supposed to go. No, we cannot fly in here for some reason, because... Reason. Might as well go to the Crystal Desert. I don't think I need to buy any items. I'm not sure if you can fly to the Dragon's Maw once you have passed the Crystal Desert. I know that in the original version a landing point for Flamey would spawn then, once you reach that area, but... Not sure that's the case here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, fun fact, uh, in... My personal playing of the official English release of the original, level 53? I went uh, almost with this type of party because I had Angela as my main character. I wanted her uh, to play as her because I haven't for a long time. Uh, I have Duran as my second character because, of course, same, uh, same path, so... That's really how you get the most out of the out of the plot for each path by having the two characters from the path in the party. And my third character was um, was Hawkeye. And I got all of them. I put all of them on the light path. Angela was an archmage. Duran was the liege. I believe I turned Hawkeye into a rogue. Either a rogue or... No, I think I turned him into a wanderer. Not the rogue, the wanderer. His light light path. And I was level 39, 3 or 40 at this point. And, uh... I got to the point uh, just before we fought uh, the Benevolent of Darkness and I just could not defeat it. I always kept dying, even though I I had made sure to level up um, Duran enough so he got mo uh, multi-target healing, right? But I could not defeat Sabufa. I even went and switched from Angela to Duran as my main character. So that I could exploit the little bug where if you had one of your characters cast a spell and then you opened the menu, which had to be done with the character not casting the spell because you can't open the menu when that happens, it counts the spell casting while the menu is open so when you close the menu the uh, spell would immediately go off. Despite doing that and despite working as Duan because he's the strongest one physically in that party, I could not defeat Sabafar at all. Also apparently... Nope, can't go down here apparently. So, if we are talking about what I know of the official English translation of Angela and Duran's path, 
the fight with Tabitha is the furthest I got there. I never fought um, Koran or the the Darkshine Knight in the official release of the original. Haven't managed to do it yet. I'm sure I can if I went back and uh, and grinded there a bit more, but didn't feel like it at the time. And then this was coming and I was like, oh, okay, might as well, you know, wait and see. Of course, that was when I thought they also had changed the script maybe a little bit, but no. This is the identical script to the original version. Which overall isn't bad, except for where I pointed out that the game is saying, hey, you should class change, because that's where you would in the original, and here you can do class change by the time you reach Jin. Ooh, what was that? It was something that killed her. I wasn't paying attention. But are they using... They might be using the Ninja Master's class strike for Hawkeye. No! Uh, Beholder. I think those were the guys that in the original dropped the question mark seed. Either that it was the evil shaman that were in this jungle of visions there. No, that might... No, not Twinkle Ring. I do think it's the Ninja Master class strike. Neat! Also, I'm level 57 with these guys. Oh. I was a second too late. Dark Force! That was the spell that Angela would have gotten had she gone down the Mysticist's dark path. Thank you, little cactus. Four points for her. She has doppelganger and MP move saver. Mm hmm. Lucent beam plus. Uh, not sure. I could put points into strengths and finally get her. You know, fireball plus and explode. Uh, let's give her that too. Moon energy boosts allies' chance of critical hit. So Kevin now has his first and in this class only skill attack right now.
view undiscovered treasure boxes and little cactus sightings. Prize here. So for the next one, we get occasional triple boost to experience. And I have 35 out of 50 sightings. I, I don't know for sure, but I do think you get a trophy for finding Uh, the little cactus in all of its spot. Z. So let's see. Yeah, treasure chest there, treasure chest there, where I couldn't, or I didn't manage to get to earlier. Sablefazling has dark damage, yep. Yeah. Nah, I don't think I can be fast enough or jump far enough to avoid that. Yeah. 
Charged attack.